So some folks have asked about uh, placing inline images in Elementor. And, uh, and by that, I mean wrapping text around images and so forth. <clears throat> I don't really know an elegant solution. So what we can do is resort to what many of us have been doing for years in uh, various paid builders and so forth in uh, WordPress. So here I am in Elementor. I'm going to take a text editor and pop it in here. And we'll just uh, dump a bit more dummy text in there to work with. And what we can do in the editor here is, uh, and by the way, um, some people find this editor here too small to work with and uh, and also wonder where all the extra functionality is like adding color to text and so forth. And what's normally happened is they miss this toggle button here. So that's just a, a little extra tip while we're here. But if you find this a bit small, you want to work in a, in a larger space, just click this full screen option here and then click to go back. Yeah, so take full screen off. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to place an image um, in line with the first line of this text. So I'm just going to place the cursor here, go to add media, uh, pick a suitable image. We'll take this one and I'm going to select alignment left. Uh, double the link here. I'm going to take the thumbnail at 150, uh, sorry, 150 by 150 insert that into the post and there it is now that's fine um, however you'll notice and if it matters to you you'll notice in the editor here the top of the image is absolutely in line with the first line of the text that's cool but actually in the elemental window it uh, it looks different the image pops up there and it's not particularly attractive so that's where we may need a bit of custom CSS um, to, to help us out. Uh, I actually find it's about eight pixels. I need to, to move that image down. I'm going to put a top margin in. So um, I'm not actually going to do the CSS in the customizer. I'll, I'll update that post so we can see how it looks. Okay, like so. And as you see, as I say, the, the image pops up there. Otherwise it's fine and it works okay on mobile and so forth. That's not a problem. You do have problems when, when you do, I have had problems and you will probably too if you try and right align it or uh, or something like that. But uh, I generally find left aligned images like that with the text wrapping around it, it works fine. So um, the only issue we've got is that is that top margin on the image. So um, we'll just bring up the uh, code inspector here. Um, I can see here that if I just add here margin top, uh, we'll go for eight pixels like so. And now that's lined up nicely. Um, and whilst we're in the uh, in the console, I'll just check it on uh, on mobile. Yeah, that that holds up fine. Um, back to responsive yeah that that's cool so that works by the way if you want to put this um this css into uh the customizer you can do that just by copying out here from the console right click to copy uh, we'll go to customize intro additional css pop it in there now i don't need to take anything other than the margin top and because it's in the customer so I won't need to do anything horrible like add important into here or at least I shouldn't do and we'll just publish that close it down and now if I just refresh the page there we go that lines up quite nicely and using CSS so you can also put a board around it if you so wish so that's how to do inline images uh, inside a text widget inside Elementor thanks for watching